Hello and welcome back to Fanzone. Myself, Jonathan Joseph, Leroy Senior, and a certain Mark Bright, a happy Mark Bright. It's been years on a Sunday since he's done that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've got a very special guest now, a, a man who's made a trip, seven hours flight, 3,000 miles. And because he was going to be in London, we thought we had to get him in on the show. Uh, one of West Ham's biggest supporters and famous in Nigeria, Lord Vavinsky. Welcome to Fanzone. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got the royal way. Hey, good to be here. Good to be here. I'm so sorry. Even you even gave us the royal way. Take a seat. I mean, it, 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 this is brilliant. Lord Bavinsky, you picked a bad weekend being a West Ham fan to join us on Fan Zone. Bad weekend? Yeah. I won't say so. In the game of football, you win, you draw, you lose. I mean, it's all part of the game. I'm here to support West Ham, and I'll continue standing by West Ham without a win, draw, or lose. So it's a good weekend to be here, to be in London, to see you beautiful people, and of course to enjoy the weather. I mean, you just said see you, <laughs> you said see you beautiful people, uh, see you beautiful people, you look that way. You know yeah, I mean? No, no, I, I was actually looking at Leroy, because I, 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 I actually noticed something. I'm actually more handsome than you are. Ooh. <laughs> and who said the camera never lies? Ooh. Mark, see in yeah. the flesh. When you get to see people in the flesh, yeah? yeah. You know, TV I just think it was this uh, very handsome man. But up close, I, 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 I can beat my chest. <laughs> Mark, should we anyway, go? Anyway, is it this day? Hey, what kind of competition is this here? Let's talk football. See, see, can I just say, Leroy, this is no longer Leroy and team. No, this is the pageant. I just lost in Leroy versus the world. Lord Verbinski, who's <laughs> come on and caned me on live television in front of millions, and I'm lost for words. It's OK, champ. OK, well, whilst you're finding some words, uh, Mark, let's talk quickly about West Ham against yeah. Arsenal yesterday. They got Kane's a right me. old scene. Capitulated. Scenes. You were at the game, so... Um, it was very sad to see. It was really sad to see. I, well, you tell us, because you were there. Well, words can't explain how, how the feeling was. I mean, I came all the way from Nigeria, in mean, the southeastern part of Nigeria, nearly. Not, I didn't come alone. I came with a team, 100 Nigerians or more. Wow. Yes. What called... game is that? We came to support West Ham. I mean, I was going to say a team of 100. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what sport is that, Mark? Yeah, yeah. We, it's a play. We came all the way, mm -hmm. caught two of the chairman of the Anambra State Football Association, His Excellency Dr. Fanyoba, he brought us all to London wow. to have a feel of the city and also to stand behind West Ham in an important game. It, it, it was a derby and we had hoped that West Ham would give us a warm reception by even if a, a point against it's, Arsenal. It's interesting, uh, I mean, Lord, because just, just as if you just humiliated me on television, it was a bit <laughs> of a humiliation for for West Ham, in all honesty. I mean, the injury to Collins early on didn't help that to change their shape. They started with, with, with five at the back. Kuyati got injured in training the day before. But it still doesn't excuse that performance. You know, there was a period in the game where you felt, I think it was at 1-0 when West Ham got into the game second half, you felt they might get something. But as soon as they conceded the second goal, I think the players wanted to get off the pitch. And I think the West Ham performance was summed up by Dimitri Payet. And you know, I'm a great... Dimitri Pai fan, I think he's been a wonderful player. I think he was the catalyst for everything good that West Ham did yeah. last year. But I also think now he's a major problem because they're looking to him for leadership in terms of getting on the ball <clears> and making <throat> things happen, and he's not doing it. Exactly. That's what happens when you set the bar so high. That's mm. what happens when you make yourself the key man or the main man in a team. People always rely on you, even on bad days, to always come up with the goods. And when you don't do that, mm. it tells on everyone and the whole team just implodes. We could see that the attack was flat, the midfield was lost and the defence was nowhere to be found. And, you know, all around, even I tried interacting with a few Londoners who came for the game and everyone kept saying one thing. Mm. Pie, pie. Yeah. He has been flat. Flat. You can't do it. Can't really you cannot team, do it every. Though, John, yeah. I mean, I know your team lost yesterday, uh, but you picked uh, a game to go and watch Lord Verbinski, where, uh, as if the season, when the season plays out, you saw a performance from Alexis Sanchez that will, as an individual performance, most probably won't be surpassed this season. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I hate that I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting words in my mouth, John. <laughs> <laughs> It was a great individual performance, wasn't it? You've got to admit. Uh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> say it. 
just just say it. I think I have a bone in my throat. <laughs> I, 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 but really, he was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'm um, being that close to him and watching him do those things. You know, sometimes you watch it on TV and you think, ah, oh, well, you, 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 no one can do this. Or maybe it's a little bit of film trick or camera trickery. But up close, you can see the man. He has passion for the game. You know, as much as, hey, you know, we are rivals, but Sanchez as an individual, He's a fantastic footballer. Mm. Any, for anybody wants to have on his team. Absolutely. I mean, Lee, what, this, what, this time what? last year, John, they had 22 points. And they got 12 this time, right yeah. now. And if they had 22 points right now, they'd be fifth. Yes. So we saw how well they started last season. But they didn't look like a one-man team. Yes, he, he looked a little bit special, but everybody else's game was better. But Aaron Cresswell was playing well. They got off to a flyer. You know, Sacco was scoring goals for fun. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a yeah. great formation Dynamic. at front. Valencia. Once they got a few injuries, Lee, right? It... Mm. Yeah, they had a few injuries, but he's had, he's had the resources going by players and he's bought the wrong players. You know, yes. he's bought a lot of players and sometimes that causes you a problem. You know, yeah, so it's interesting you saying, Mark, about training not being intense uh, enough and that's been translated into the games because if you've got too many, you can't see too many players, you can't see the wood from the trees. You get too many average players, bring down the quality of training. And it's interesting, Mourinho, every squad he's had, he's wanted to keep a small, small squad. Pep has wanted to keep a small squad. That's to keep the quality of training up. You get too many players who have such a standard, it brings the whole level down. And that's so what's happened Did they overachieve last year, then? Yeah, of course they, they overachieved, but they, they're underachieving now. Yeah. Uh, and so you can have all the excuses about, about, about injuries and the Europa League, but he's had the resources to go and move forward and be, not be in a situation and not play in a London derby like that, because that just was yeah. nowhere near good enough. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Leroy. Why you lick your wounds after being yeah. absolutely roasted by Lord Verbinski, <laughs> uh, we can speak to Deepak in India, who's an Arsenal fan, which means, Deepak, you can get your own back on Lord Verbinski if you so choose. You don't have to, though. Yeah. Hello, guys. Good evening. And uh, hello, Leroy, Mark and Jonathan. And, of course, my dear friend, Lord Verbinski. Actually, my sympathies to him for this uh, bad loss but actually, Arsenal played well uh, and even West Ham were good in the first half. I think uh, loss of Collins was the problem for them. And uh, I think that was Abelawa coming in. The defence was unsettled and uh, West Ham was in the game till the second half uh, beginning, but later it went off. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a tight game for most of it. Yeah. I know that Arsenal scored yeah. early, but West Ham was still in the game. And then, you know, I think I, I went in and made some toast and a hot, a hot <laughs> blackcurrant drink. I won't tell you exactly one. Uh, and, and when I looked around again, and it was like, five. Well, I, I was like, how long did it take me to make that drink? Not long, <laughs> not long. But the point was, the point was, Arsenal dominated the early stages. I remember Monreal getting down the left-hand side three or four times, not quite, not quite falling to an Arsenal player. They could have been three or four. They got the goal and then I thought, it was all about Arsenal. Arsenal just went, came a little bit complacent, didn't go, really go and drive on. And then that man, it is all about Alexis Sanchez because that, another Arsenal team, I don't know if Deepak agrees with me, but a team last season playing like that without that drive of Alexis Sanchez up front, they could have gone and drawn yeah. that game where they yes. should have won eight. Totally agree. Is that right, yeah, Deepak? Totally yeah? Yeah. yeah, totally agree. I think Alexis Sanchez replacing Giroud at the front, it's really working well for Arsenal. And I think uh, we are doing well, except for Chelsea. This weekend was very good because Liverpool lost and we stayed second. And uh, I think it's Arsenal is going forward and let's see what happens in December. That injury scare, which always, always Arsenal is afraid of. I'm um, just waiting. That's all. I think well, the the I'm going to underestimate you, John, that the team they played. We were talking at the early start of the season, the stadium, the stadium, the stadium, the stadium. It doesn't look like the stadium right now, does it? It's no. definitely the team. But they played like a team who had one defeat so far this season are on and are in form. So... You can't be judged against those. It's about being judged against those teams around you. And now they're in it. I mean, um, who do they play next week? Liverpool away. Wait, Liverpool away. Yeah. Are you here for that game? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the, way, the, way, the way you said no there is, actually I am, but there's no way I'm going for that. <laughs> no, 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 not because I don't want to attend. Like I said before, I love West Ham and I'll keep standing by West Ham, but because I have to get back home to Nigeria, as I just said. Yeah. Absolutely, you're a lord. You've got Absolutely. a lot of land to look, exactly. to look over, exactly. of course. Yeah, exactly. I mean, have you got a question for Deepak? Well, well, it's the same question I asked some Arsenal fans yesterday at the stadium. Deepak, if I, if I may ask you, can you bet that Arsenal will win the league this season? 
Just yes or no? Uh, <laughs> 50-50. I would not bet totally because I still see that weakness. Arsenal were very bad in the beginning of the second half. But yeah, after that second goal, I think Arsenal were in total control. And except for Carroll to hit one goal, I don't think after that we had any trouble. But yeah, Chelsea look really unstoppable. And this is Premier League, so we can, accept, uh, we can expect anything uh, to happen. So I hope some results go bad and we are on the top of the table by Christmas. And then, let's see. I mean, I just, just quickly, Deepak, watch this. Yeah. I was just thinking of something there, Leroy, mm -hmm. talking about Alexis Sanchez, all right? When yeah. Luis Suarez was going to leave Liverpool, he nearly went to Arsenal, Yeah. OK? Yeah. The deal didn't happen. Arsenal only wanted to pay £40 million yeah. and £1. Uh, yeah. It didn't £1. happen. When Luis Suarez went to Barcelona, who did Liverpool try and replace him with? Alexis Sanchez. Pound yeah. for pound, the way that... Alexis Sanchez played yesterday, was as close to a striker that I've seen in the yeah. Premier League, in Luis Suarez style. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. And uh, awesome. just that drive, it doesn't matter to me, you know, we said we they needed a striker. Aguero-esque as well, Leroy. Aguero-esque. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. not from yesterday. They do a lot more unselfish running. The, absolutely. His performance in the first half was remarkable. It was remarkable, it was incredible. And, you know, West Ham were poor, but he was outstanding. And I think he is world class. I totally agree with, with, with Mark Bright. And just before we go, I've got a question for you, for you, Lord. Okay. When are you going back to Nigeria? <laughs> 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 We've got two, you've got five seconds. Deepak, thanks very much for joining us on Fanzone. An absolute pleasure. Love from India. Love from London. Love Absolutely. It. See you later. Lord from Nigeria. Lord Lord from Nigeria. Lord thanks very much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. Mark. Leroy, it's been an absolute pleasure <laughs> that you guys do the yeah. formalities. Well, there you have it. Another brilliant week in the Premier League and Lord Verbinski making his debut appearance on Fanzone. We'll be back next week, of course. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>